I'm not sure how that would taste. A bit stale, perhaps, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so the weather is looking fairly cloudy and misty out there at the moment for many of us. This photograph was taken in Bedfordshire, and that's pretty much the size of things for this week. It is going to stay fairly cloudy and misty with some fog patches out there. It is also staying very mild. The temperatures, despite the lack of sunshine, around 13 or 14 degrees. So you might get lucky this afternoon. You might see some gaps in the cloud, a little bit of blue sky, but any sunshine and short supply, just some brighter spells breaking through that cloud. And then as we move into evening and night for bonfire night, it's looking good in terms of dry weather for bonfire night. However, we are likely to see some fairly extensive fog and that could develop quite early because we'll start to see some clear spells developing as the sun goes down and that will be filled in by mist and fog patches becoming quite extensive during the course of the night but it is expected to stay dry but that fog could linger through tomorrow morning so temperatures on the chart around seven or eight degrees and with light winds tomorrow morning that fog really taking our time to clear for some of us we've essentially got high pressure keeping things very settled keeping these weather fronts at bay so for tomorrow expect fairly foggy conditions really slow to clear in some places lifting into low level cloud any bright spells really in short supply it's going to stay fairly overcast for most of us tomorrow and for some of us that fog could linger through the day still despite that it's mild out there 14 degrees for tomorrow so not a little change for the end of the week this is Thursday uh, this weather front is eventually going to make progress across the country but it's not going to really trouble us in terms of rainfall amounts and everything we'll see temperatures rise a little towards the end of the week but still staying fairly overcast and cloudy but there are signs that by the start of next week it might turn a little cooler but also brighter with some sunshine returning Harriet Thanks, Alex. Oh, Would that be mould, perhaps? I don't know. It didn't look the freshest piece of cake, did it, Amelia? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Alex, uh, tell us about the weather. What's it up to at the moment? Well, it's been pretty mild out there. Not a lot happening this week. It's staying fairly similar, and that means cloudy, misty, and foggy over the next few days. Although most of us got stuck under that cloud today, there were some bits of blue sky here and there in Essex, but on the whole, a lot of cloud, and we're going to see further mist, fog and low cloud over the next couple of days. Now, if you're out for bonfire now, the good news is it is staying dry. However, it could become quite foggy as the evening goes on. So mist, fog and low cloud becoming quite extensive across the region overnight to tonight. Uh, visibility becoming quite limited as we go through the night. And some of this fog could linger through the morning tomorrow. So in terms of temperatures, a bit of a blanket across the region, there'll be one or two gaps that could allow those temperatures to be a little bit lower than what we've got on the map here, but generally seven to eight Celsius. So tomorrow morning, what we've got pressure wise is a huge area of high pressure. We're just on the edge of it. So that's keeping things very settled. And it's also keeping these weather fronts out west uh, at bay. So it stays pretty much in the same holding pattern over the next few days. Now tomorrow morning, it really could stay quite misty and foggy, quite murky conditions across the region. There may be one or two places where as that mist and fog lifts into low cloud, there's a few gaps appearing. So perhaps a little bit of brightness, but any sunshine not expected for tomorrow. Now, temperature wise, despite all that cloud, it's going to be pretty mild. So around 14 Celsius are expected high for most of us tomorrow. And into the afternoon, it is expected to stay fairly cloudy. Now, the mild air is here to stay into the weekend. There are signs that something a little cooler might head in our direction for next week but it's looking fairly mild. We can expect some more mornings where it's pretty misty out there with a lot of low cloud hanging around. If anything, we'll find the temperatures just rising ever so slightly by the end of the week and the start of the weekend. But yes, brightness in short supply, not a lot of sunshine out there, but the signs are at the start of next week, we'll see something brighter and perhaps something gradually turning cooler into next week. Uh, overnight temperatures though, nothing particularly chilly. Amelia. Lovely, Alex. Thank you very much indeed. Hello. It's a settled pattern of weather, but it's likely to be fairly misty and foggy at times, but the temperatures are still staying very mild for the time of year. Now, overnight tonight, we're likely to see mist and fog becoming quite extensive across the region, and that will mean limited vi visibility towards the end of the night and tomorrow morning. Temperature-wise, 6 to 8 Celsius, so not particularly cold, but we'll find that mist, fog and low cloud really taking its time to clear tomorrow. High pressure extending across us, keeping these weather fronts at 
cafe but could be quite misty and murky first thing and it's possible that some of the thickest cloud could produce some drizzle in places but despite this lack of brightness we are still going to find temperatures climbing to 14 degrees so very mild and that's how it shapes up for the rest of the week still mild conditions misty and foggy in the mornings.